coming off a very impressive victory over Connor Hewn. How you feeling? Feeling great. Um, you know that was. I saw leading up to it the toughest challenge of my career, the, the highest profile opponent, and, and you know possibly the most dangerous opponent I've fought yet. And, and you know I, th I thought uh, that really brought the best out of me in training, and, and you know caused me to really focus and dedicate myself the way in a way that I never had before to, to training and, and really take things to the next level. And, and it paid off on fight night. That, that was the most satisfying victory I've had yet in my career. How was Connor in there? How do you feel in there? Uh, you know, sh strong and, and and just tough, hard nose, comes forward, can take a punch. Uh, you know, I hit him with, with the best shots I've ever hit anybody with, and he, he was still right there in front of me walking forward and, and uh, wanting to mix it up. So so hats off to him for, you know, we, we knew how tough he was, but it's an, a different thing watching it on TV to, to seeing it face to face and, and, you know, kind of feeling like you're fighting the Terminator. Um, but. You know, I, I, he did a lot of things we expected, and and, uh, and you know, it was just really cool to get in there and mix it up with him, and, and to have the game plan unfold the way that it did, and, and to have success doing the things that we trained to do in that fight. What was going through your head when the ref pulled you off? I just couldn't believe I managed to stop him. You know, I saw him the whole way leading up. I, I thought I was going to have to fight perfect for three rounds, and. and Hope to come away with the decision. You know, make the right choices. Not not get stuck on bottom. Not get drawn into a brawl with him. Um, and, and you know, to, to be able to, to get him in a position where, where I just had him stuck and, and force the ref to, to pull me off him really felt great. And, and uh, you know, I'm pretty sure I was the first person to stop him. So that that's a huge feather in my cap and something I'm very proud of. Where do you go from here? Just uh, waiting to hear uh, what Strike Force wants to do with me next. I'm sure it'll be another another step up, another real tough, dangerous opponent. So. I'll just be ready to dive back into training camp and, and get ready to do it again. You got to be real impressed with the run Ben Henderson's been on. That fight with with Edgar was was incredible. I'm a huge fan of Frankie as well. Um, I think style-wise, he's one of my favorite lightweights out there because he's not necessarily the best at anything. He's not going to overpower you. He's not the biggest guy. He's not, in, in a one-dimensional sense, the best striker or wrestler or grappler. But the way that he flows from one uh, discipline to the next and, and puts everything together has is, is always really impressed me. It's something that, that I aspire to and, and hope to one day be able to emulate. Has the acting bug bit you yet? Not at all. i got no desire to be in front of the camera. This is actually making me kind of uncomfortable right now.